back to a big story that we've been tracking today, that lockdown at Hebron High School. We're live with Nicole Rodriguez of the Carrollton Police Department this afternoon, here to tell us more about how police responded out there today. Uh, Nicole, we did see quite a, a turnout for this, uh, a, a lot of officers on the scene out there. Are departments taking these kinds of threats more seriously because of some of the other incidents that we've seen around the country? Yes, we're definitely taking, I mean, any, any type of, any call of this sort, we take very seriously because we don't know whether, uh, you know, we have to treat it as if it's an actual, that something is actually happening. Now, Nicole, in this case, uh, we had uh, heard that this was a bomb threat that was called in, and, and we noticed that the kids were kept on lockdown inside the building. I think that was confusing to some folks uh, as to why they would stay in there because your first inclination would be to get everybody out of the building in the case of a bomb threat. Can you kind of walk us through that? Yes, there were actually two calls. There was a call to the high school and a call to the police. And in one of the calls, um, it was stated that there was a person with a, with a gun. Mm -hmm. So that is the reason why um, the school was locked down, because we thought we had an armed person in the school. Nicole, how did we come across the determination that this was, in fact, a hoax? And do you all have a suspect at this point? We don't have a suspect at this point. Um, we did, after speaking with, with some people, we found that it was basically something called swatting, where they um, copy a cell phone or copy a phone number in order to put in a call to police that causes a, a huge amount of officers to come out of scene for a critical incident. All right, last question here. Let's talk about the cost of this. Are you able to put a price tag on something like this, considering that it was a hoax, or at least talk about the threat to public safety by tying up all those resources? It definitely did tie up resources. Um, we had, I believe, over 40 officers out here during that time period. It may actually have been more. Um, you know, it. it puts a stress, a strain on other calls that are happening throughout the city. They can tend to back up and, you know, for something that was a hoax, it definitely was uh, a lot of time and a lot of manpower was used. All right. Nicole Rodriguez from Carrollton PD, thanks for taking the time this afternoon.